Hey Data Factory fans, welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be really short and sweet, but I felt it was important to talk to you a little bit about how to use the GUIDs in your connections when we're parameterizing the connection property inside of Microsoft Fabric Data Factory Pipeline. So we recently announced the ability to parameterize your connections inside of your activities and pipelines, which is really super powerful. But currently there's a, a bit of a, a gotcha on that, which is that you can't parameterize based on the connection name, you need to use the GUI. So I just want to show you how to do the GUID replacement inside of that property. And we are making this better. We're going to allow you to use the names, the connection names uh, very soon. But for now, I felt like this is important as like a how-to kind of tips video for you to uh, help you along. So on my screen, you see that I have a very simple pipeline, which is the copy activity. And I felt like this is a good way to show you both a connection that is external to your workspace which is in this case an ADLS Gen 2, uh, essentially a storage account in Azure. And then my destination in this case is inside of my workspace, which is a lake house called Mark LH. So let's first parameterize the source. So what I'm gonna do is I already have this configured to point to my container. This is essentially static, this is hard coded, if you will. Let's pull the drop down and say, uh, go ahead with um, add dynamic content. I have set up two pipeline parameters. And the first one uh, will be the uh, connection to storage, which is my source. And I'm going to use the parameter replacement for that. I'm going to click OK. And uh, this will then be replaced with that uh, GUID. Now, I'll show you then how to get the GUID. First, let me put this back to the um, ADLS Gen 2 in my container. And then I'll show you the parameter that I set up. So back here on my pipelines, the, the two parameters I have for my source and destination are right here. Notice I'm using the GUIDs for the values. Now to get the GUID, you go up here to the gear icon, the settings for your workspace, and click on Manage Connections and Gateways. I'm going to have to um, blur most of this out, but you can see that for my Gen 2, I click on the ellipsis, Settings, and the Connection GUID is right here under Connection ID. So go ahead and grab that, paste that, put that into your parameters, and that's how you'll parameterize. Now back on my pipeline, if I go to the destination, I'll do something very, very similar on my copy activity. And I'll just parameterize my lake house by using the drop down, dynamic contents. I'll use the connection destination this time. And now this will be set to uh, the uh, to dynamically use the GUID for that lake house, which is marked LH. Now for the table, I'm going to enter it manually here. And my table name was sample data October 18. So we'll enter that here. And then if you click on preview data, what's going to happen is it's going to actually give you this pop up to fill in the lake house uh, property or essentially parameter property and so i'll just take that GUID from my pipeline for that lake house connection and now go back to preview and now i'll be able to preview my data using the dynamic contents okay now one last thing i want to show before we uh, close up today is that you can also use the variable libraries to do this the variable libraries gives you that global parameterization and the ability to change value sets as you move from environment to environment during ci cd and the, i have a variable library called my bars and I'm using the same thing. I, I have a variable called my connection, and I'm using the GUID for my ADLS Gen 2 in here. The way I would use that inside of my pipeline is back on my pipeline. There is a setting here for library variables. So I just map that to a connection here. In fact, I'll call this one, uh, this parameter connection inside of my pipeline as my connection from the variable library. And then when I go ahead and use the name of contents, instead of using the pipeline parameter, I can just use the library variable called my connection be able to get the exact same effect, but now it's at a global workspace level instead of just within the pipeline scope. All right, so that's how you're going to use GUIDs for your connection property parameterization. I hope you have fun doing that, and we will be also making this a lot easier when you can use the connection names inside of your pipelines. But thanks for watching and thanks for using uh, the effect.